people, 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 people. Que pasa, sac pasé, what they do. Now people, the first part of the video is called the knuckleheads, the copycat syndrome. It is back again, once more again, and people, if you remember, there was an incident in a Jamaica, maybe about last year, in which some men were basically seen on some sort of viral video, basically flinging some dog to the crocodile or to the alligator. We are speaking about in a Portmore. Well, people, it is happening once more again, once again. And people, in this case, we see some young men, or we actually hear them in the background, basically fling one dog into the water to the crocodile or the alligator, whichever one is in Jamaica. And people, I am going to let you see the edited version version of the video and then I am going to give my peace. Now people, I said that one fool makes many, however people, this seems like it is a school of fools. At least we hear at least maybe about eight, nine, ten whole heap of people in the background. And some persons were saying that this is cruel. Some persons were saying that, listen, we are excited. We are in the moment. We want our 15 minutes of fame. We want to be in the spotlight. We want to be one of the nominees for Jackass of the Year 2020. And people, they are point blank and period. Now, people, when we look at stuff like this and we think about the mentality of Jamaica, and we see that it is warped. And when you compare Jamaica opposed to a first world country, specifically America, we see that the way that they treat animals is completely different. It is polar opposite because people, the truth and the fact that animals are more respected in America more than you and me. We are speaking about the darker complexion. So people may just uh, make it know. However, in Jamaica, we say not so much because it seems like Jamaica is a place where people basically K-I-C-K-D-A-W-G-S in a them ribs and them also treat them bad. We see say, everybody, specifically people in the garrison, everybody want dog to make up all sort of noise and alert them. However, they always fail to basically take care of them. We are talking about bear them, make sure so they don't have no ticks, they don't have no mange, rate, lay, lay, blow, blah, bling. And people as a person that live in America and basically own dog, people whenever your dogs or your pets are due for go to the vet, people them are call you. You are taking the dogs or your pet to the vet more than you go yourself at the doctor, point blank and period. So me just assure you that they will always call you and say, listen, they are due for this, are due for that. However, in Jamaica, people just have dog and them give them bone and that is it. And people, I am just speaking in general because you have some good dog owners in a Jamaica. However, they are mostly uptown. And we say everybody want a sort of dog, pit bull, rate, lele, blue, blah, blah. However, let's get focused to the story at hand. Now, people, when we think about stuff like this, you could not hear a whole lot of people there. there. Some people that sound like they are young people. We are talking about in them 18, 19, 20. So even though you heard some people saying they should not do it, they did not really step forward and basically stop it. They were basically cheering. So therefore, they were a part of the conspiracy. Now, people, when we think about this, whichever angle that you look at it from, whether the dog is a mangy dog, whether the dog is a mongrel, rete, lele, blue, blah, blah. People, it is evil. It is wrong. There is no sort of justification point blank and period and people in the last case we saw that the person that were basically on those viral videos they were caught by the popo and even some of them gave an apology and said that they were trying to save the dog rate 
lele blow blah blah however people in this case we are speaking about guilty 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 and even in the last incident we saw that the ambassador for us i think his name is donald tapia he also gave a reward for five thousand dollars for the capture of those persons of people we can expect to see the same thing and we can also expect to see the animal rights people coming out and stepping out and basically bashing these person and people it is justified point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now people before i move to the next part of my video please subscribe to my next channel it is called jamaica dancehall source and i'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video and also please subscribe to this channel i am speaking about true jamaica buzz and when you subscribe please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option <laughs> Now, people, the next thing that is popping in the news that we see that there's a next outbreak at a BPO center, a call center, and this is in St. James. I am speaking about Montego Bay. And this is said to have occurred in a place called Teleperformance Center. And people like me say is a call center, a very popular call center. Now, based on the information from the Department of Health or the Ministry of Health, it is said that they sent some sort of inspector after they got some sort of news that somebody that there was somebody in the center that basically have the big C. So therefore, there might be some sort of possible outbreak because people, the truth and the facts that whenever you consider the circumstances or the situation in these places, then basically pack up like sardine. So therefore, if somebody catch the big C, the fact that it is an airborne disease, the fact that it is easily transmitted to the next person, people, we can expect all sorts of health to break loose and people that was the case in this case and based on the information from the department of health the health ministry it is said that at least 18 persons were tested we are speaking about positive so therefore they went into the place and them locked down the place and they told everybody go out them yard now people based on the information it is said that this place was given all sorts of warning because of we are speaking about the distancing because of they are not wearing any sorts of masks they are not basically following the protocols as it pertains to the disaster risk management so people like them say them get some sort of warning and people it is ironic that less than 24 hours ago the minister of health i am speaking about dr christopher tufton he was just speaking about the other call center in a kingston i think the name is alarica where it is said that at least 300 plus persons contracted the big c so people that was a whole lot of person however when you think about jamaica and see exactly what is going on the fact that they opened the bar people jamaica the whole of jamaica coming like downtown coronation market it is like back road it is open we are speaking about open season and every and anybody they are contracting this it is getting from bad to worse however the government claims that there is no reason to panic however people we should panic because it is getting bad and we see that a lot of persons are also dropping out dropping like flies so people like me say jamaica the government of jamaica and the people they are negligent they are irresponsible responsible and that is why we see all this stuff going on and people like them say who can hear they are going to feel however in some cases it is only bad that it is the innocent persons it is a grandmother the elderly person that are passing away because of the negligence and the irresponsibility of these younger people point blank and period so the moral of the story is that the people them need to get them act together the government of jamaica and a whole they need to get their act together also because people with sister this thing is breaking out like a sword so anyways based on the information from the department of health the health ministry they said that they are doing all sort of contact tracing and they are going to sanitize the place and they are also investigating so people like them say they did not learn from the last incident i am speaking about alarica and people like them say who can hear they are going to feel so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.